Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another lesson. Our game is looking good for now, we have the basic functionality of jumping and we also have the camera movement, but we don't want to play with this ugly white ball. We want something more cheerful, therefore we will be creating a script that will change the color of the player object from white to something else at the beginning. Right click onto our scripts folder, go to create and choose a new C-sharp script. We can name it Player Start Color. Open it up in Visual Studio. We want this script to be targeting a component in the player game object called the sprite render because that's where the color property is located. Therefore, we will need a private variable of type sprite renderer and we can name it player sprite. This time we won't be using the start method right away and we won't be using the update method at all, so we can go ahead and delete this one. Instead we'll be creating our own method. To do that simply type public void and then we need to choose a name for our method. Let's say it can be called start color changer. It won't take any parameters and inside of these brackets we type the actual code that we want this method to do. First of all, let's introduce a new variable inside of this method. It's going to be an integer variable and we can name it ran. And it's going to be a random value between 0 and 4. To generate a random variable in C-sharp, there's a command called random.range and inside of the brackets we type the actual range. It's going to be from 0 to 4, since we are going to have 4 colors. This function includes the 0 but excludes the 4, so this variable can actually have the values 0, 1, 2 and 3, and depending on which random number it gets assigned, we will change the color accordingly. We could go ahead and choose an if statement to check whether the ran value is 0 and then whether it's 1 or 2 or 3, but there is a better way of doing this, and that's by using the switch statement. So we want the switch statement to check the ran value, and then depending on the value that it gets we want to change the player color. For example, 0 would be red, 1 would be yellow, 2 would be cyan and 3 would be magenta. So we can type case 0 and this code will be executed in case the ran value is 0. After each case we need to type in a break command. I didn't write the code to change the color yet but we will get to that later. Instead I left just a comment to indicate where that code should go. We can go ahead and copy this case since we are going to have three more of them with different values. This is going to be 1, this is going to be 2 and this is going to be 3. So we actually have a sprite renderer variable but it hasn't targeted anything yet. So let's go ahead and target the sprite renderer of the player game object. We already learned how to target some component, so let's go ahead and type player sprite equals to get component, and this time we want to get the sprite renderer. Don't forget the brackets. To change the color, we simply take the sprite renderer, which is called player sprite dot. And just like we had changed the velocity of the rigid body, we want to change the color now. So we type in player sprite dot color equals to new color. Make sure you have the capital C. 
and then inside of the brackets we type the numeric value of the color. For example, it could be 0, float, 0, float, 0, float. But this would actually give us the color black. So we need to find the according code for this color. The first color is red. I already prepared a website where you can see all the different codes for any color that you want. I found it on prideout.net. The first color that we need is red. And this is the code that we need. It's simply this code divided by 255. But we are too lazy to divide so let's just use this one. Copy it and paste it inside of the brackets. You might notice that we are getting an error and that's because we don't have an F after the numbers to indicate that they are float values. After that we want to change the color to yellow. Let's simply copy this command and we need to find the code for the yellow color. So let's go ahead to our list. Here is yellow and here is the code that we need. Paste it inside. Make sure you add the Fs. Next we are going to have magenta. Let's copy this code and let's find the color. There's magenta and there's the code that we need. Once again copy it inside and add the Fs after. And the last color will be cyan. Let's find cyan on our list. Right now we have our method that we created, but actually it won't be executed even once because we don't have a trigger for it yet. But we can go ahead and call it in the start method, because we only want it to be executed at the start. To call it simply type the name of the method. Don't forget the brackets. So now, whenever the program initiates, it will call this method and this will execute once. It will assign a random variable in the range from 0 to 4, and depending on which value it gets, it will change the color accordingly. Save it, and let's see if it works. Before hitting play, don't forget to drag the script onto the player game object. There we have magenta, let's see again. Cyan, let's see if we get all the colors. Yellow yellow again, and red. Okay, this seems to be working fine. But one more thing before we finish the lesson is that I want to change the name of the game object whenever we change the color. So if the game object is red, I want it to be called red. To do that, simply type in name equals to, and then type whatever name you want. In this case, it's going to be red, and we can just copy this to all of them. It's yellow here, magenta, and finally cyan. Save it, and let's see if this works. So right now the game object is called player, but if we hit play it should change the name, accordingly to the color. This seems fine. getting cyan three times in a row. Okay, red, cyan again, magenta, and finally red. Okay, everything seems to be working fine. You will see the reason why we changed the name in a few more lessons. Do not worry about it now.